Okay, here is what we'll call the honey orb. This is a rhombic dodecahedron. It has 12 sides and it is about the same size as the ball of wax, as you can see here, roughly about the same size. Each individual piece though is a little bit bigger than ball of wax pieces. As you can see here, here's a ball of wax piece and here is a honey orb piece and it is larger. In a way, it is a little bit bigger and what you see there on the left is a um, big ball of wax piece and, um, and a honey orb piece here. The honey orb feels good in the hand. It's got about the same feeling as the ball of wax does. Uh, and it's it's pretty shape and it's actually I, as the more I've read about the rhombic dodecahedron it's a fairly fundamental uh, building shape in nature so that's something that we can build and exploit you can make shapes with it like you can with a ball of wax they're a little bit simpler but you get the same nice satisfaction of having the pieces click together and with the magnets and that's one of the nice things in the ball of wax as well here are three honey ore pieces put together. Do various things with it, play with it, but it's 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 nice. There's a, a disc shape. When I designed this, the key thing I did in where I put the magnets, you'll see in a little bit uh, how they become building blocks. I situated the magnets. There's two magnets in the rhombus piece here, but the distance away uh, from uh, from one another is important and also where I position the magnet on the side and uh, you'll that'll come into play in, in just a few moments when I show what's going on here now an interesting thing starts to happen when we take a honey orb with the 12 pieces and start taking more pieces from another honey orb and adding them on and it uh, takes on uh, it can take on different shapes here I'm going to add uh, four pieces just four pieces and this is a little kludgy because I have one hand holding my iPhone camera and the other hand uh, doing this. Uh, and I'll put one on the bottom here, if you'll just bear with me. And all of a sudden the geometry is different. And what you have there is a platonic solid. This is an octahedron. There are eight sides to this. And this is actually a really delightful shape. And say, oh, how about that? So by adding pieces, we get fewer sides which is part of the magic of the honey orb. Here I've taken the previous piece that had, uh, our previous shape that had 12 plus four, I added four pieces to it, and now I've added four more and start taking on a little bit different geometry, almost as a milk carton kind of a shape. And here I've added four more pieces. So what we have are uh, two honey orbs, the one on the inside, and then I put another piece on the outside of each one and it creates a nice stellation and very nice a lot of fun to look at and hold so that's one thing you can do here's another thing you can do with the honey orb I mentioned that you can stack them together and with no empty space uh, uh, between them and they're not they're actually very few geometric shapes that allow you to do this obviously a cube is one but the uh, rhombic uh, um, dodecahedron is another so here you have four honey orbs uh, and uh, they're stacked together and they fill in completely and another thing you can do is you can take just parts of one here i'm taking three pieces and i'm sticking them right there and all of a sudden it allows you to start doing some uh, different kind of things uh, with it this looks like a man perhaps or maybe a cross but you can put various pieces on top there you can remember earlier i was talking about how i designed the placement of the magnets to have some extra playability and buildability and you can see here are two different pieces this is not a rhombus well this does form a rhombus but it's from two different pieces here but the magnet placement is such as when I take another piece and put the rhombus piece down on that, you get uh, this filling in here. And as I'll show in a couple of other um, uh, constructions, uh, that uh, gives you a lot of opportunity for play and new shapes. Here's a shape that I made by taking two honey orbs and then putting a few more pieces on the sides to fill in, like in this area here, over here, and 
here and here. And again, this is taking advantage of the way I place the magnets so you can build these extra, um, extra shapes. And when I take these two pieces here, put one on there and one, whoops, here, you've got a really interesting shape as well. This has um, uh, 10 sides to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've taken the original shape. So this has 42 pieces in it, I believe. So you take the original ball that has 12 pieces and then add more pieces to it. You can actually make a shape that has fewer sides. Anyway, these are a lot of fun and I could go on and I've actually built some of these out, but uh, this is just a quick and dirty demonstration of what's going on. So I think this product has a lot of possibilities in terms of people being able to buy one, get the magnet satisfaction, make some simple shapes. But if they want to buy more, it's, you know, it's, it's inexpensive enough that they can do that and keep building up and up that uh, uh, they can make a lot of fun shapes. So let's see where this goes.